Hi, today we're going to do an introductory video for our Carteret Mobile Park viewers. So here we have Mr. Dolan. Why don't you introduce yourself, tell them what you do. So my name is Robert Dolan. I'm the general manager of Carteret Mobile Park. We're located here at 1501 Roosevelt Avenue in Carteret. Uh, very conveniently located near the New Jersey Turnpike, Route 1 and 9. Uh, we're probably only about a half an hour from New York City. And I am Maria Dolan, his wife of 33 years, and I am the marketing and advertising director. So let's get started with all the questions you would have if you were first arriving to Carter Mobile Park and asking questions. Go ahead. What would be the first thing people would be asking So you? the first thing people come in and they ask us um, about what does it cost to live here? How much does a home cost? Mm -hmm. um, most of those people come here because they love the location. Mm -hmm. So the process is that, uh, number one, we need to find out how many people will be living in the house so that we can properly size a house for each family. We have both one and two bedroom homes here. We don't really have any three bedroom homes because our lots are not um, large enough to accept homes that size. So right off the bat, I just want to point out that we do not rent homes here. All the houses are for sale. In essence, we're always trying to undo the perception of the public of what a mobile home or a trailer is. Basically, we're not selling those. We are selling manufactured homes. In 1976, when the federal government created the manufacturing code. So the federal government in 1976 created the manufactured housing code. And that code has been um, improved over the years, but that basically created a standard by which mm -hmm. these homes were manufactured. Prior to that, there wasn't really a very strict standard. Uh, the federal government came in and created that standard for a couple reasons. Number one, so there, there can be some uniformity. There can be safety for the consumer of what they're living in. It also designates where the homes can be placed based on the way that they're constructed. Mm -hmm. And it also helps finance companies qualify them for financing. So, in essence, it's more similar a manufactured home to a modular home than to the trailers and mobile homes of bygone era. And the reason is, is you now have insulation like a regular house, the right weight bearing load of the roof to sustain the two foot of snow that we sometimes get in New Jersey. So what's another question that people come in when they first arrive? So one of the big questions is what is it going to cost to live here? Mm -hmm. Um, we're a land lease community, so basically we are leasing the land in which the mobile home or manufactured home is sitting. So we have a lot of residents here who have been here for 30, 40 years who are living in the older style uh, mobile homes. We call them vintage style. Yeah, there are vintage homes. They're all well maintained. Um, so they want to know what the cost is. So there's a monthly fee. Uh, right now our monthly fee is $580 per month. Mm -hmm which covers all your utilities such as water, sewer, trash removal, snow removal, recycling. You're responsible for paying your own personal utilities, which would be gas and electric. Okay, great. And the range of prices on the houses, what would be a one bedroom? What's... So range of prices could be a pre-owned home, could be anywhere from about 30, 35,000. All of our new manufactured homes their range is somewhere around 55000 on up to seventy five to 85000 All depends on the size of the house and the amenities that are inside of it. Okay, and let's talk about how they finance these homes. So these homes are financed through a uh, traditional installment loan. There's probably four companies right now in the marketplace that offer manufactured home financing. Very simple financing. It works that you're required to have a down payment of anywhere from 10 to 15 percent of the purchase price. Your loan will run anywhere from 15 to 20 years and it's a simple interest loan. You're making a payment which includes your principal and interest. A lot of people are surprised at the closing. There's no closing costs, there's no attorney's fees, there's no realtor fees. It's a simple contract. Anything else that's easy about the closings? The other easy part of the closing is we don't require a security deposit when someone comes in. Um, so you're signing a lease agreement with us for a period of 12 months. That lease renews every year and that lease agreement spells out all the 
conditions of the lease, what your responsibility is as a resident, as well as what my responsibility to you is as a, um, a resident. I would say the two or three main things that are in the lease are in this particular community, there's no pets allowed because of the size constraints, the land constraints for anyone that's not a senior citizen. So that's a big issue because there's a lot of pet lovers out there. And the second thing is um, having people move into the community in your house without checking and having them. Why don't you explain a little bit about... So the process that we have is we have a resident application that everyone fills out. That application, we do a credit check to verify their credit. We do a landlord-tenant check to see if you've ever been in trouble with your previous landlord. And we also do a criminal background check. Those three steps basically help us to understand who our applicant is. And we want to make sure that the applicant is credit worthy enough to pay the monthly fee. A lot of people get excited, oh, I really want to live here. But we want to make sure that you can live here and afford it so that you're not stressed out about making your monthly payments. The same process goes through with the bank. A bank's going to qualify you mm -hmm. and make sure that your debt to income ratio does not exceed 40 or 42%. So they don't want you to get into a situation where 80% of your income is going to pay your monthly fee for housing and then that only leaves you with 20% for your car insurance and your food and so on. So it's a very... Um, protecting you. Protecting, you know, protecting the consumer because a lot of people come in and they get excited. Oh, I love yeah. to live here and this is really great, but we kind of have to make sure that it's the right fit for them. Kind of a reality check. Yeah. So what I was originally saying was if you live here and you go through this process, anyone else that moves in with you, we've had some mothers whose older children move in with them, they also have to go through that same process. Um, so we're really conscious of the fact that we have a responsibility as property owners to the other residents who live here to make sure that everyone that comes mm -hmm. through goes through the same screening process. It's a very similar process that anyone would go through if they were be purchasing, I mean, uh, renting an apartment or, or a condominium, a condominium yeah. or a cooperative. Mm -hmm. um, since there's other people involved in the living situation, it's important that we know who they are. Very nice. And I think one of the other things that comes up is when you own a house here, Anything you do on the outside, you have to get written approval first. And the reason is, it's a land lease community and you don't know if you're digging to say put in a tree that there might be a gas or water main or something like that. So painting on the outside of your house, um, anything you do on the outside, you have to check with management first and get in writing the approval to do that. Is there anything else that you're thinking of that's in the lease that Just people... Just really basic... Um rules of conduct concerning noise, mm -hmm. um, being you know, thoughtful. keeping your lot clean, maintaining the outside of your house. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. So that's pretty easy. Uh, the steps for getting approved here, uh, make an appointment, get qualified to see us. So we'll go through steps to see if you're qualified to be able to come look at the houses and then um, fill out the resident application and then check with the four finance companies to see uh, if you can get a loan to live here. Any other closing comments? Um, that it's pretty simple. Uh, the process only takes a matter of probably a week at the most because the application process takes a few days. The uh, process for the loan takes only a few days to see if you're qualified. So I would say within a week you'll know whether you're qualified. Uh, we have several models we can show you here. If there's something that we have that you're not 100% set on, we have some um, availability for some other homes that we're bringing in that you may be able to custom design the way you like it, the color you like it. So if anybody speaks Spanish and they need help with that, I'm Cuban and I'm happy to help out with translating. And once again, I want to just point out that we're really centrally located and very close to New York City and the bus line in New York City is right in front of our property. So we're getting a lot of people from New York and Staten Island and Jersey City and Elizabeth um, coming over and we'd be happy to meet with you too. So write Robert and email him at robert at dolanhomes.com or email me maria at dolanhomes.com. Check out our website at dolanhomes.com. You can also call us at 732 
969 We're open Monday to Friday. Thank you.